So uh, in terms of today's webinar, uh, we'll discuss the integration between SDS2 and IdeaStatica. Uh, many of you might already know we have these kind of integrations with other specialty tools. SDS2 is great to get majority of the connections together when they're out of the box, but sometimes you get into a bind where you have some specialized connections that you need to run additional analysis on. Um, you have connections with SidePlate, with MyTech. Uh, there's another one with CAS Connect. And then now we're also working with IdeaStatica with the FEM side and some specialized connections. So for today, um, we'll go ahead and introduce you to what IDEA Statica does, uh, as well as the integrated example of what a workflow will look like with typical SDS2 project. And then we'll open the floor up for some open discussions and questions. So now I'll go ahead and pass it on to Dave and he'll go ahead and introduce the, the tools that they have to offer us. Sure, thank you. Uh, so yeah, so Idea Statica, the, the tool we're going to be talking about today is really meant for steel connection design. Um, and we actually take it a little bit different route than the other software on, in the industry, um, in that we actually take advantage of uh, finite element analysis uh, to design the connection. So now, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, why, why do I need finite element analysis for connections? You know, the limit state checks that I do right now work perfectly fine. And that's true, but projects are becoming much more complex, more complicated geometries. Uh, you know, architects are taking some liberties as far as with how structures need to be built. Uh, so that's where we can come into play at this point. Uh, so really kind of looking at the finite element, we're gonna be looking at, uh, for the members and any plates, angles, uh, really looking at the stresses and strains or so material properties within those elements. Um, I know a lot of people might get nervous about FEA. You don't have to be an expert to use Idea Statica for FEA. If you know connection design, you're going to kind of feel very comfortable in it. Um, and AISC in the commentary does allow the use of finite element analysis. It even says that if you're using finite element analysis for connection design, it basically replaces all those limit state checks that we all love to do by hand. Um, so again, kind of talking about how we do things. So I mentioned stresses and strains. So we're looking at material properties for the plate members. Um, when we get to the welds, bolts, and anchors, um, what we do is we take those analysis results from the finite element analysis and we plug them into the code equations. So we're doing a little bit of a hybrid approach um, as far as the analysis using finite element, but also using some of the code equations. Uh, and then finally, we, we do have a bunch of different analysis types. Uh, so whether you're doing you know, your standard stress strain analysis, uh, we have a stiffness analysis for you to analyze moment connections to understand the rigidity of them, whether they be fully rigid, semi-rigid, or pinned. Uh, we have buckling analysis, which I'll be talking about in one of the examples later on. Uh, capacity design, which is really meant for high seismic design. Uh, joint design resistance, which allows you to kind of understand the capacity of the connection. So you can model an existing connection maybe and understand, okay, that can actually take, you know, 150 kips. Uh, we do some fatigue analysis as well as some fire resistance based on the Euro code. So that's something that's uh, becoming more prevalent. And I even noticed in the latest uh, AISC code that they're actually referencing Euro code. So that's something else that we can do. Not really going to touch on it today as we're kind of trying to keep this at a introductory level. Uh, so at this point, uh, why don't we go ahead and we're going to jump into uh, demo portion. So here's an SDS2 model. 